Egypts and spying always turn inward on their own people. And so now we see that the FISA court has become this secretive rubber stamp for the administrations that have followed it. All they have to do is go to this court, and it's not a court at all. It's a single judge. There's no adversarial hearing. There's no jury. There's no lawyer arguing the other side. One lawyer from the administration goes to this FISA judge, which they call a court. He issues rulings, and it's not bad enough that they're doing that. What they're doing is they're keeping these rulings secret while pretending that it's modifying the rule of law, that it's modifying our constitutional uh, protections that are recognized, our rights that are recognized on the Constitution. Now, Obama, far from defending rights, of course, has used the National Espionage Act of 1917 more than any other president combined. I think it's been used something like, and I'm losing track of it because he's using it so frequently. I think he's done something like nine out of uh, out of the nine times it's been used since 1917. He's done uh, six of them, I think. Maybe it's now ten, and he's done seven. One of the people that has uh, drawn the ire of the administration is James Risen of the New York Times, and he has an article that just came out before the shooting in Iraq. We had a warning about Blackwater, and of course we have that article up as well as a link to it on Infowars.com. Blackwater threatened to kill State Department officials in Iraq. This guy says, I took Mr. Carroll's threat seriously. We were in a combat zone where things can happen quite unexpectedly. Well, what was that threat? Well, it turns out that this is before, this is weeks before. They shot 17 civilians in Baghdad's uh, square in 2007. That was Blackwater guards that shot 17 civilians in Iraq. Weeks before that happened, they sent investigators to the area to see what was going on. And Blackwater's top manager there issued a threat to these State Department investigators. He said that he could kill the government's chief investigator and, quote, no one could or would do anything about it as we were in Iraq. Now, the American embassy officials sided with Blackwater. So when this investigator from the State Department goes there, is threatened by Blackwater that he will kill him, and they go to the American embassy officials in Baghdad, they side with Blackwater. And this is a group that has gotten a contract at that time worth more than a billion dollars. And these guys do whatever they wish. And it was just a few weeks after that that they shot and killed 17 civilians in the square. You talk about blowback, you talk about unintended consequences, and yet this is really what they want. They want continual war. They want to foment disrupt, disruption and unrest everywhere. That's why we had what happened in Benghazi, giving weapons to these factions. Now, of course, you've got, just as we see here in this example, you do have people who are compartmentalized. Uh, they think they're doing the right thing. They want to do the right thing. And yet we see that when you've got an investigator who is trying to do the right thing, he's shut down by the American embassy. And uh, he came back and said, you know, it looks like these Blackwater contractors uh, think that they're above the law. They see themselves as above the law. That clearly is true. It says they created an environment of, of liability and negligence. And as we saw just weeks after that, we had a massive uh, massacre there in Iraq, which is still having repercussions. You think they're going to be able to keep Iraq under control? You think that they're going to be able to turn it into a democracy? Is that really our job to do that anyway? I don't think it is. Many people don't think it is. Even here at home, we should look at how this is going to come down. The same things that happened abroad are now coming home. We see the militarization of the police. We see them being given the same types of training and tools and the same attitudes that we saw with these Blackwater guards. And it's getting to the point now where we had, uh, here, here's a blog, uh, torianbrown.com. His, his title is, the militarization of the police has gotten so out of control that it's captured the attention of the mainstream media. As my son Lance said, it's gotten to the point where the mainstream media can't ignore it anymore. That's why they're talking about it. And we should be very concerned about what happens with the military industrial complex and the way they are militarizing the police. This is something, the same thing that happened in Baghdad is going to be happening in America. And one of the ways they're going to use it as an excuse 
is they're going to take these drug cartels that are now encroaching into the United States as part of the war on drugs. And as it gets more violent, you're going to see ever escalating amounts of violence in America. We need to roll this back, not by sending the military to the border, but by changing the fundamental ideas. We'll be right back. Stay for us. emergencies. By having your own in-home freeze dryer from Harvest Right. Now you can cut down on wasted food by freeze drying your leftovers. That's right. Create your own long-term food storage by freeze drying your own fruits, meats, vegetables, even complete meals with the Harvest Right in-home freeze dryer. Imagine the savings and the peace of mind. See how the amazing Harvest Right freeze dryer works at HarvestRight.com. We the people grow cotton, weave fabric, engrave ink, embed strips and fibers to protect from counterfeit, then carding to a private bank, having it lent back at interest, forcing taxes to service debt. This capitalism, or was Jefferson correct when stating a central bank issuing the public currency is a greater menace to the liberties of the people than a standing army? Ted Anderson, I'm placing a free silver dollar in a book that explains our monetary system. Call for your copy, 800-686-2237. It's time to understand the system. Call 800-686-2237. That's 800-686-2237. What good? is a Big Berkey water filter? We get that question a lot here at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and in a word, the answer is protection. Protection from water main breaks, E. coli contamination, environmental chemical spills, pesticide runoff, chlorine taste and smell, and all forms of fluoride. Plus, Big Berkey water filters are the original gravity water filter system and most trusted on the market for a reason. Tested by multiple independent NSF EPA certified labs, they are the gold standard in water purification. At only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. That means big savings. Big Berkey, the one that's powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. Get a Big Berkey today at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. GCN listeners receive 5% off all ceramic filter systems. Visit our website or call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Get the most important package of information you'll ever receive in your life for only $10. The package includes three books and seven DVD programs which cover biblical miracles and prophecy. The Shroud of Turin, The Third Secret of Fatima, What Really Happened to the Catholic Church, and more. Call 800-513-0029. That's 800-513-0029. Or go to VaticanCatholic.com. That's VaticanCatholic.com. 800-513-0029. VaticanCatholic.com. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions. SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show. I'm David Knight. Alex is going to be joining us in the next segment with a report about food, the ultimate secret. You know, it was Hippocrates, the father of med medicine and ethics, who said, uh, let food be your medicine. Also uh, attributed to another Greek uh, fellow named Galen. He said, first, do no harm. We need to think about the role of food in our life, about good, clean sources of food. And, of course, one of the best places you can get that is at My Patriot Supply, one of our sponsors. 
The collapse of the border, the collapse of the economy, soaring meat prices, it's clear that there's no longer time to wait. You need to get started by preparing today. Go over to MyPatriotSupply.com, check out their complete line of preparedness products. My Patriot Supply is the home of the Patriot Pantry line of emergency food storage. If you don't have food, you're no threat to the new world order. They're counting on you to be ever-dependent slaves to their system of control, but you can fight back. You can establish independence for yourself and for your family by securing your own private supply of storable food. And there's no better way to prepare than by this Patriot-owned company. Visit MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex for special offers to listeners of this broadcast. For a limited time, they're offering additional discounts off their already low prices. That website, again, is MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex. It was just yesterday that the New York Times said that central bankers are worried about bubbles and they rebuke the markets. Are they worried about bubbles or are they floating trial balloons? Here we have uh, out of Frankfurt, we've got an organization, they say, that represents the world's main central banks warned on Sunday that dangerous new asset bubbles were forming even before the global economy had finished recovering from the last round of financial excess. And they say that uh, during the boom, resources were misallocated on a huge scale. I wonder who misallocated those resources. It didn't have anything to do with the bankers, did it? It didn't have anything to do with them pumping and dumping the economy, did it? I mean, that's the model that they've always used. That's the model that they used to establish the central bank in America in the first place. It was bank panics going in, snapping up uh, assets at fire sale prices. That's what they always do. So when they warn about bubbles, take them very seriously. What they're really doing is floating a trial balloon. Now, before we go to the break and this special report from Alex, I want to cover some breaking gun news. Um, in Colorado, if you remember, there were some uh, very restrictive gun control laws that were, that were pushed last year. Some Colorado Democrats that rammed those things through were recalled. Uh, people push back against that. And you had the county sheriffs of Colorado responded by vowing not to enforce the laws. And this is an article from capitalisminstitute.org. And they point out now that they've gone to a trial and the judge, a U.S. District Judge Marsha Krieger, said that um, these, that prior to 2008, the Second Amendment wasn't recognized as an individual right. Really? Really? What do you think the right of the people means? The right of the people to keep and bear arms. Every one of the amendments in the Bill of Rights, except for a part of the Tenth Amendment, is about individual rights being recognized against the state. They're all about individual rights. We're not talking about the free speech of uh, NPR or the free speech of the State Department. We're talking about the free speech of individuals. We're talking about the religious freedom to exercise religion of individuals. We're not talking about some kind of a collective right. It was always an individual right. But she maintains that until the Supreme Court said so, just recently in 2008, that it wasn't an individual right. And then listen to what else she had to say. She said, since there's no evidence that law enforcement officials are enforcing the law as written, there therefore is no threat to the Second Amendment. <laughs> Do you see that screwed up logic? She's saying that the sheriffs come out and say, these laws are unenforceable and they're unconstitutional. And we're not going to do anything with these laws. So she says, well, then you don't have to worry because uh, since they're not enforcing it, they're not a threat to your rights. Do you understand the parallel to what Obama is telling us about the NDAA and indefinite detention? He says, it's not a threat to your life, uh, to your rights, if I say that the military can come in and arrest you, hold you indefinitely without any due process. That's not a threat to your rights because I'm not doing it right now. You understand? It is a threat to our rights when they establish this as a legal precedent. And again, going back to what's happening with the collapsing borders, they use the same techniques all the time. They always use children as a beard to take your rights. They always pass the law and the legal structure and don't do anything right away and then enforce it later on. That's what's happening at the border with NAFTA. That's what they want to do with our gun rights, with our due process rights. We're going to be right back with a report from Alex Jones. Food, the ultimate secret. Stay with us.
We're